everyone. Thank you for joining me. I am working on this page and it has, I think this is a fox glove because I know Artie Mays has a kit and it looks like that. And I just looked through my printouts and I've got this. I looked through my envelope stash and I have half of this. So I thought, why not make like a little flip out here. Um, it gives them writing space underneath and this will be something pretty to look at and I thought I can put that in there. And that's all I thought. <laughs> I haven't worked through it yet. So, we're gonna work through this together. I want it top loading, so I need to trim off this part. And once I open it, that'll make it easier to glue that little image on the inside. Did I get it all? Yep. And that's my thinking. I've already cut it out just to save time. And I see once it's opened up, it's not as fiddly and you can go ahead and put it where you want it. I just need to, let's see, make sure I'm doing things the right side up. <laughs> and where I want to put it. Let's see, can you see that? I know there's probably a glare on it. But I think that's cute there. I know it's not straight, so I'm gonna straighten it out in here. And then double check, that's good. Now, the next question was, how do I want to? Let me do like a little bead. Um, around the edge here. I was thinking just to tape it. <laughs> and that would probably work too, but. Let me do this so that I know that it doesn't um, come off, especially when they're um, sticking things in. So, and do I want to do this too? Why not? I left myself enough room to overlap around this so that it's not right on it. Get this little scraper. And let's see. Ooh. Okay. So that is stuck on there. I think that'd be a cute little window. I'm not going to attach it yet because I want to do some decorating and I think I'll just do some collaging uh, with some scraps that might match. Uh, I don't know if all that will match. Let's see. Let's put it up against it so that I have a good idea. So that's that. I think I've got that green. It's going to mess me up. And I plan on just ripping and tearing, but I want to make sure. And that's good with that. don't have to go right up to the edge of this right here. I can go over it and it hasn't compromised <laughs> what I've done. I can even not touch it. You know, it doesn't have to be totally covered and perfect. This is fun. This is collage and we're going to see how that looks. I'll ink it up a little bit. I'm 
can glue anything down yet. So we've got that. We've got a corner up there that I can take advantage of. See, I, I didn't do these for the longest time because I was worried. Oh my God, you gotta be so perfect. You gotta cut them out, trim them out. And that's not what collage is about. Collage is just slapping things down and having fun. And that's upside down, that doesn't matter. So let's take some of that off. And you can use, do I have any more of that? <laughs> Did that work out perfectly? I've got some of this. Will that look okay? Well, let's start with this since this one has a straight edge. Get down. Okay. And there. And a little piece down there. I don't really want to bring any more color in because we got a lot of color going on there. I'm um, looking at my little scrap pile over here. And how will that look? Let's turn it upside down and take advantage of that. Okay, so we have, <laughs> technically, <laughs> covered it. Well, let's just you know, trim off the excess once I get it all down. <sighs> this weather, wow, it's 57 degrees out there this morning. And I live in upstate New York, in the Lake George area. So it is beautiful. And yesterday was in the 80s, and today is 57. <laughs> well, the air conditioner has not cut on, so it's like, hey, opened up the windows. Oh, I hope it's nice where you guys are and you're taking advantage, getting out in the yard, enjoying nature. All right, you move there, and let's, okay, my son just called, <laughs> scared the tar out of me, because <laughs> I didn't expect the phone to be ringing while I'm filming. Oh, all right, we're back to gluing. <laughs> oh my goodness, oops. Did I tell you I have my windows open today? And it's just the wind, the breeze, I guess, is blowing the curtains around. It's so cute and peaceful. I don't know why I like that curtains blowing. Um, I can't tell if it has a memory attached to it. Um, I just like it. Gonna put you down here on that edge so we don't have to trim. A little bit more over. Come on. There we go. Put the top on that. And I've already forgotten where I had everything else. <laughs> Typical. Just number of the pieces. Right. Okay. So if you have any questions about collaging, um, I try to, you know, explain what I'm doing the best that I can and why I'm doing it and what I'm looking at and looking for. Um, and hopefully to encourage you to just give it a try. Like I said, I was scared to do these for the longest time and then I was finally like, Angel, just do it. What's the worst that can happen? You know, 
Um, I'm looking at color. I'm not worried about the images on this. This is just all collage. We're just looking for that color uh, coordination, you know, whether it goes together, whether you want something com uh, complementary or, you know, popping and standing out or blending together. Um, these pieces all have that vintage feel, you know, it's not bright white. Um, and I think that's why, in my head, you know, it matches. And it's just meant to be something to be covered. You know, your, your important part piece is going to be whatever tag that you want to put in there and what you want to write on it. This is just, you know, fluff. <laughs> you know? Uh, the means to hold your memories. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that even makes sense. I'm trying to be inspirational. But I don't know how. My inspiration is just do it. <laughs> okay. Oh, we can do the edges. We didn't do that a bit. I still bang everything so loudly. I apologize for that. Oh. And what else are we going to see? Yeah, this is right side up. Did I get this? Okay. That. I guess I need to do this part. Now, this is going to be here. Um, if I want to, if I have like really thin uh, yarn, I can outline uh, this. You know, frame it. I've seen that done. I don't know where all my thin stuff is. How about this? You can leave it just like that. Um, but you know me, I don't leave well enough alone. <laughs> I think just adding a little bit will help. You want to try that? All right, bear with me. Get you out of here so I don't glue you. So that looked like three. I'm gonna glue it as I go so that I don't forget where I wanted things. Go away. Is that right or wrong? Yeah, this is uh I didn't never know. Put it on here or put it on the paper. Let's see. Are you in the light? And I do want to mention, I have my alt light right there. And no matter which way I put it, I cannot get that glare off. So just focus over here, okay? Don't focus on the glare. <laughs> I can't. I've tried, you know, maneuvering it every which way. But loose. And um, I cannot find a spot. And uh, my uh, light source is way over there because I'm like on the edge over here. Um, just so that I can put my uh, camera arm on the bookcase. So I had to rearrange things according to that. Probably because this is a cutting table so it's kind of high. And um, I had a tripod, you know, the long tripods, and that wasn't tall enough. I couldn't get a good angle. So I can't put a tripod on the table. I had a little, bought a little bit of tripod for that, too. But it wiggles too much. This is a cutting table that folds up, so it's not sturdy. Plus, I'm not a professional. 
I'm just a crafter that wants to share. Oh. I think this is full of glue. Ah, there we go. Straightening out some more. It's full of glue boogers. <laughs> oh, last piece. And that's one of the things too. Um, in one of my videos. Um, if you start stocking up on laces and everything, you know, get some thin lace, get some thicker lace, uh, just get a whole different selection so you have more options. Because sometimes, you know, you need thick and thin. Sometimes you can layer the thin on top of the wider ones uh, for different looks. And uh, catch them on sale. That's what I do. And it's taken me a while. Well, what is wrong with you today? You're wanting to be all gloopy. So while I was buying and saving up for, you know, junk journal things, I was working on my art journal things because I had already uh, spent time buying all the paints and stencils and stamps. And then as soon as I had everything, I got bored and wanted to try something else. <laughs> Eventually, I go back to the first thing, but uh, I have to keep switching. Okay. So that helped make it pretty a little bit, right? And you can always, um, depending on what you want to do, let me get this here too so that I can see what it's going to look like. I can add flat. Oh, these aren't flowers, these are butterflies. I think that'll work. I never finished cutting it out. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, my fingers are shaky. Let's get a little bit of this white. Right before I uh, started on this one, I went ahead and printed out a bunch of butterflies. And then I even sorted them out, so I've got a little bin with the teeny tiny ones. This I call the medium. And then I have a bin. Let me show you. I know people ask a lot about organizing and how to find things, so I had all of this in one big container. That was this, and it took forever to find everything. So I finally went through, and these are my itty bitty ones that I printed out. And then I did some mediums, and then these are the large ones. So depending on what I'm looking for, I can find easier than having to shuffle and take everything out. Like we have to. Oh, I gave it two tails. What is that? And it just all depends on what you have. You know, that little thing was fine in the beginning. And then I just kept, you know, getting more and more stuff. So then I just kept breaking and splitting, you know, them up so that I can find them easier. Do we... Yeah. You can't go wrong with butterflies, right? I almost broke out in a song. Butterflies are free to fly, to fly away. Who is that, Elton John? <laughs> you do not want to hear me sing. Whew. Okay. Does that look, that looks cute enough to me. And I probably should have glued this part first. A uh, piece on here. So what am I gonna do? Let me move this out of the way. Um, let me go ahead and glue these two sides. I don't need this. That's what I was debating. If I need this little piece, I don't need it. Very good job trimming here, did I? Hmm. 
I don't think I even looked at this side. I want to cover this with another piece. Um, I just haven't decided what yet. So. Hold on. Oh, I don't want, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no. No, I don't want to glue that side. Now that's going to be a top opening. <laughs> and that's the top. So what do I want to glue? Because I was thinking I'm covering it. <sighs> Let me think. And this was going to be the slide in. That's not how I'm doing it. Because I've already got that there. I want it to be a top. Top. That's going to be there. Let me find something to put on here. I think that's what's bothering me. Well, not bothering me, confusing me. Okay, I had to go digging. This is what I was looking for. I knew I had a sheet somewhere, you know, that looks like um, a journal writing space. So what I want to do is put it here. So to glue it, I don't want to glue this here. So I think the easiest way is to glue here and then fold that on there. Try to line it up the best I can. And then I will glue the two sides. Okay. Ha ha ha. Let's see how that works. This popping up a little bit. Glue that down. Could take that off, but I feel that it'll help make that sturdier. Yeah, sounds good. Where's my little scrapey thing? Well, that worked out better than I planned. <laughs> I thought I was going to struggle. I didn't. Okay, so now we're going to do the two sides. bumpy because I got that lace there so I should have done it but when the inspiration strikes me I have to do it <laughs> no I'll forget that quick all right just need to edge it up a little bit make it pretty okay I had already edged around it previously so, I don't know whether I'm going to cover this or not, so let me just, you know, grunge it up some. Make sure everything's stuck down good. Alright, now, we 
don't have to do it. That's kind of cool. They got writing there and writing here. side of the page another time. Okay. Phew. I was confusing myself. Is this upside down or not? <laughs> Alright. So then all I have to do is, you know, have a tag for that or I can leave it so that they can go ahead and put something in it. You know, a little treasure, but they have a, a pretty picture in there. Um, I've got lace there, so I don't really need to do any more laces. Um, do I have a bling for him? I don't know where my bling bottle went. I haven't used any blings in this one yet. Oops. get some more of these thingies. I don't even know what to call them. <laughs> oh, and here's a pink one. Pinkish. Okay. Do I just look up half back bling? Or are these gemstones? Oh, I know purple's not going to match. I'm like, yeah. Well, that one's gone forever. Let's go ahead and get the red one. I wasn't sure whether I wanted to match this, but since it's right there, let's just go with matching the wings. Clean up a little excess glue. This on before I forget. Ooh, I like that. I mean, just that little one little piece makes it pop a little more. Okay, I'm going to call this done. I may uh, stitch around it. I can still do that. And then when I stitch down, that'll help secure this flap. Um, so I think that's what I'll do, but you don't want to watch. Um, so, okay. I'll put the picture of the final thing at the end of the video. So I hope I didn't confuse you or drive you nuts too much. I um, hope this gives you another idea for, you know, what you can do with your journal pages. And I hope you have a lovely day and happy crafting. Bye-bye.